de Sirenib, et va tatses revin, et hela erosta. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about Zarama, the creator of the Super Dragon Balls. He's alive and watches their irresponsible use, which could cause catastrophes. He could restrict access to these balls, making them available only to high-ranking beings, considering that currently anyone who knows the divine language can use them, which is risky. After all, they are very powerful and are capable of granting any wish. Making them less accessible would avoid problems like those that arose in the future Trunks saga, which led to the extinction of all the gods and all the universes. In other words, Zarama urgently needs to have a meeting with Zeno and Daishinkan. The Super Dragon Balls have immense power, capable of granting any wish, but their improper use could cause catastrophes. The creator of the balls, the dragon god Zarama, undoubtedly monitors their use to prevent abuse. Zarama is essential for the functioning of the Super Balls. After all, they don't operate without his presence. This means that he is alive somewhere in the universe observing the use of the Super Spheres. The greed of the gods is a central theme, as they are the only ones who can summon Super Shenlong. It is as Uncle Ben taught us, with great power comes great responsibility. And the Super Spheres are so powerful that they were able to restore all the universes erased by Zeno, which strongly indicates that Zarama was probably the creator of the 18 universes of Dragon Ball Super. After all, the power of the Spheres does not surpass that of their creator, so it is already possible to have an idea of the size of Zarama's power. Cases of superficial wishes have already been recorded, such as the body swap between Zamasu and Goku. These futile wishes demonstrate the impact and consequences of the use of the spheres. The use of the Super Dragon Balls in Dragon Ball highlights the superficiality of wishes, reflecting the lack of consideration for more serious issues in the universe. This results in significant and problematic consequences in the series narrative. In Dragon Ball GT, the result of wishes like a pair of panties that Oolong made resulted in evil dragons that were born in the spheres of Earth. So, if with the Dragon Balls of Earth we had all those problems that almost led Goku and everyone else to death, imagine if evil dragons were born from the super spheres. The possibility of evil dragons the size of planets is real, since they would be proportional to the super spheres, both in size and power. Considering that Super Shenron is the size of a galaxy, this could cause problems even for Daishinkan and Zeno, which represents a huge problem for the universe. Controlling the use of the Dragon Balls is crucial to avoid this chaos. Zarama must control the use of the Super Spheres, seeking the help of Daishinkan, who observes all the universes and is the only one with the ability to move them to a safer place. This would ensure that only powerful beings can use them, or those who have the authorization of the High Priest. The misuse of the Super Dragon Balls has already caused great damage, such as the destruction of Trunks' future, and this alone is enough to demonstrate the need to restrict access to them. Zarama, being a Dragon God, may seek a meeting with Zeno and Daishinkan to ensure the safety of the Super Dragon Balls. This may prevent future problems. So that's it. Leave your like on the video, it is very important. Subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell. A hug to all, and see you later. Bye. Thank you.